Here at Scaled Analytics, my team and I have been working with flight data and flight data monitoring programs long enough that we've seen a few myths pop up from time to time. We've picked what we consider to be the top five myths surrounding flight data monitoring programs and hopefully I can bring them to an end here today. The first myth on our list is that flight data monitoring programs are expensive. Now it's true that they used to be and depending on some of the providers you speak with today, some still are. But you should be able to build an effective program that meets just about any budget. Flight data monitoring programs used to be quite expensive because the software used was very specialized and the hardware that they ran on was pretty high powered and high priced stuff. Today, as I'm sure you're aware, the capabilities of modern computer technology have been quickly and dramatically improving while the costs have been dropping almost as dramatically. One way to take advantage of these technology gains is by utilizing a third-party service where a service provider runs your FDM program on your behalf. The service provider bears the bulk of the cost of the software, while operators like you only pay for a fraction of that cost, kind of like fractional ownership of an airplane. If you want to learn more about the service option and how it compares to more traditional FDM software, check out our blog on Service versus Software. We'll provide a link to it below. Another myth is that FDM programs are difficult to use and implement. Again, they used to be and some software today is still fairly difficult to use. Early FDM systems were, were definitely quite powerful, but they were also quite complex. Those software systems would require software engineers, database experts, and IT personnel just to install, configure, and maintain them. Not to mention week or month long training courses for the analysts that had to use them. Today, the process is much simpler. Industry standard FRED files help ensure a smooth configuration process and modern web-based interfaces help to reduce the complexity of using these systems. The power and capability is still there, in fact even more so, but a modern interface is designed to make sure you're not bombarded with buttons and features that aren't needed for the task at hand. The third on our list is that FDM programs are only useful for large airlines. This is a fairly common one that we hear from smaller operators who are not yet convinced about the benefits of an FDM program, but this has never really been the case. Operators of any size and regardless of type of aircraft flown can benefit from an FDM program. We've seen firsthand operators with just a single aircraft experience the benefits of their program within just a couple of months of collecting and analyzing flight data. I su suspect that this myth started in the early days of flight data monitoring programs when it really was just the large airlines that could afford a program. Today, however, whether you fly a helicopter, business jet, or airliner, and whether you have one aircraft or 500, the benefits of regularly looking at your flight data become evident, even after just a couple of months. I still get a kick out of hearing how a new customer is amazed at the insights they got out of their data after just a few weeks of monitoring it. And that's customers with very small fleets, maybe even just one or two aircraft. There are also programs such as our global data sharing service that allow aggregate data to be compared anonymously with multiple operators. This helps customers get even more value out of monitoring data from their limited fleet sizes. With programs like this, there's an incredible amount of safety and operational knowledge available to be gained by even the smallest operator. If you're somewhat familiar with flight data monitoring, you may have heard our fourth myth that FDM is only used for improving safety. While it's certainly true that FDM programs got their start with the purpose of improving operational safety, as the volume of data recorded on aircraft grew, the benefits of FDM expanded to include things such as improving operational efficiency, monitoring maintenance events, monitoring and improving fuel efficiency, improving flight training programs, and reducing maintenance troubleshooting times. And that's really just the beginning. Today, research is being done in predictive maintenance and other areas as our aircraft become even more data rich. A program that involves regularly reviewing flight data can benefit many departments within an organization, not just the safety department. 
our last, but probably the biggest myth about flight data monitoring programs is that they are punitive. This has never been the case. Had it been, FDM programs would likely not have survived as long as they have. Thankfully though, this myth seems to be dying out. And over the past few years, we've been hearing this concern less and less, but it is still a concern. And it's certainly a valid concern if you're part of the pilot community. We live in an age where data privacy is more important than ever, and flight data is no different. But the good news is that there are safeguards available to help prevent misuse of the data. The most common is the concept of a gatekeeper. Within an organization, the gatekeeper is the only individual that can review details of a flight that could be considered identifiable. Examples are flight date and flight number. Organizations may also have non-punitive agreements in place uh, with their pilots so that they can further build trust in the program. The key takeaway here is that without the trust of the pilots, it's very difficult to have a successful FDM program. Operators know this, and so efforts are made to build and maintain that trust. So those are the top five myths that we've encountered in our years running FDM programs. If you've heard some others, or if you have some questions about flight data monitoring, please drop us a note or leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and fly safe.